So it is really hard for me to put into words just how incredible I thought the premiere of Twin Peaks Season 3 was. Now I had high expectations for it and I didn't know exactly what to expect because they've been so secretive about what would happen this season which I think is brilliant and perfect um, but it exceeded any expectations that I had. First of all the way it started was perfect with uh, Laura saying she would see Cooper in 25 years and it's been a little bit over that now so that was who could have a more perfect beginning to a season continuing after all of the year all of these years that was absolutely perfect um some of the moments i loved in the first two episodes one would be the scenes with the log lady as you may know katherine colson died from cancer not that long ago and she probably filmed those scenes close to her death sadly um i thought that that was great that she was included even though how sick you can see that she was that david included her in this season three and put those scenes in these first couple of episodes and they were sad to me uh but perfect you know the fact that she was still able to be in it she was giving information to hawk about how to find cooper how to get him back and i really appreciated those scenes there was such a short scene with sarah palmer that was hysterical to me she's still in the same house but she has a new tv and she was like transfixed by these animals mauling other animals uh which is just about typical because something's just never quite right. You know, it's never been quite right with her. Um, I loved seeing the present day Laura Palmer. I loved her interaction with Cooper in the Black Lodge. I loved Leland. Oh my God, we have needed him back, haven't we? I mean, Ray is amazing. He looks pretty much the same, which is kind of creepy and kind of cool. And it was so good to see him for just a little bit. Um, I love seeing Lucy and Andy and Lucy's changed her name to Andy's name, Brennan. She's in the same job, of course. And I love seeing both of them and seeing them interact. I love them so much. We learned that they have a son who's in his 20s. Um, well, we knew they were going to have a baby, but you know, now he's in his 20s, which makes sense. Um, so how do they explain what happened with the sheriff? Because you know that the uh, man who played the sheriff retired from acting years ago. So what they're saying is that his brother is now the sheriff and that the sheriff Truman that we knew is sick. So I don't know if they're going to kill him off on the series or how they're going to handle that. Wouldn't it be so cool if they surprise us and show us like in a short scene somewhere? I think that would be awesome. But I know he has retired, but we can dream because they pulled this off. So why can't they bring him back? Because I personally loved Sheriff Truman's character. Um... But let's talk about the differences. Now, for me, I was not old enough to appreciate or watch Twin Peaks when it aired in the 90s. So I watched it recently, just a few months ago. And for me, I really enjoyed the interactions with the characters and the mystery of who killed Laura Palmer. But as far as the supernatural aspect, I wasn't really you know, really into that because to me it looked very hokey and the effects were off, which is not the fault of the show because it's been a long time more than 20 years since the show came out and they were probably doing the best that they could at the time. Now now that we're in present day and we can be on Showtime and have more graphic scenes, I think that the supernatural aspect is awesome and it's heavily supernatural now. Um, we have this addition of the glass box that some creature came out of and killed those two poor people. Um, very, very graphic. The woman who we saw in her apartment with the missing eye, super graphic. Um, but I'm, I think it's good. I mean, I'm so glad that this show got to come back in the um, age of advanced technology, even though the 90s wasn't like primitive. But now we are getting to see it in all its glory because it's here. And, you know, we can do they can do so much now with special effects and everything. And now it gets to really show off in that area. Um, so I like the fact the arm is a character in the Black Lodge. I like what they did with the man from another place. Um, you might want to research that if you don't know why he is no longer in the cast. I didn't really know that because I tried to stay away from researching anything because I didn't want to be spoiled when I was watching the first two seasons in the movie. So check that out um, for yourself if you don't understand why he didn't come back because the guy is still alive. But we should talk about uh, a character who I didn't know was going to be on the show just because, again, I haven't researched it too much as far as who's going to be or what's going to happen because I didn't know how much information was out there and I did not want to know anything essentially. But Matthew Lillard plays the part of a principal who is accused of murdering, I guess, the woman he's having an affair with, but he says he didn't do it. Now, I definitely think he's like the modern day Leland and he is either currently possessed by a Bob character creature or was temporarily possessed and I definitely think he killed her but just doesn't know he did. Um, but I love Matthew Lillard. I'm a huge Scream fan if you didn't know. And to see him back 
in a role that's not it's not like Scream, but it's still a Scream-esque type of show in a way, I guess, um, is great. I think he's a really good actor, and I'm very happy to see him again. And I think there is going to be more to that story that was only included in one episode, but I think we will get more to that because it definitely wasn't resolved. I mean, um, Bob, Scary Bob, who is Cooper, who we definitely need to talk about in a second, um, killed the wife and is going to frame that on the lawyer who she was having an affair with. So there's definitely more stuff that's got to happen with that. And I don't think that story is over. So Kyle is killing it in this season. Um, I loved Cooper. I loved his character. He was amazing. And we don't have that Cooper back yet. But I love him as Bob. Now, if you didn't know, the guy who played Bob, Frank Silva, has also passed away, so he was not going to be able to be in the new season. But they actually have kind of made um, Cooper look like him, you know, with the hair and the tanner skin and everything. And he just is savage, and he just doesn't care, and he's killing people right and left. And I love seeing Kyle expand to uh, this character. I think it's phenomenal, and I'm loving it. And... I, you know, it's just great. I love that addition of it. I also love the fact that this this uh, season's being filmed in various locations, like in New York and South Dakota. And I'll do another video about three and four, where we see them expand to other locations in parts three and four. But I could just go on for days and days about the first two episodes. I thought they were amazing, and I hope you did too. But let me know in the comments below what you thought about the first two episodes. Do you have any theories or predictions, or are you just kind of watching it? And I'm kind of watching it and enjoying it, and I don't really know what's going to happen, and I'm fine with that. Um, I did want to mention that Shelly was, uh, it was great to see Shelly again quickly, uh, shortly, um, and James. And it was just funny about how they said James was always cool. I think he's cool. I mean, I guess he probably tried to be cool in the 90s, but I still, I like him. I like that actor. I like that character. Um... But that's just another another great thing to talk about. Literally, I could sit here and think of more great things that we haven't discussed that we could or should. So in your uh, in the comments down below, let me know what, what were like the highlights for you. Was there anything that didn't happen that you were hoping to see? Um, and you can just kind of let me know based on what I thought about it. What did you think about the scenes and the characters that I mentioned? So if you are new here, I'm covering the entire season three of uh, Twin Peaks. So I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I also do live chats every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern about this show so we can dissect everything and try to figure out like what the heck did we just watch. So hopefully you can make one of those if you haven't been to one before. Um, but I'm so excited the show is back and I'm so excited to watch it with you guys, my friends. So hope you have a great week and I will see you very soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.